In this video, I'll show you how I made this custom mug shelf. I used just a 4x8 3 quarter inch sheet of plywood to keep the cost down. I'm cutting this sheet of plywood into a more manageable piece so it'll be easier to run through the table saw. I then cut it into strips. Now I'm cutting half the strips into squares with a stop block. I think I ended up cutting 32 squares. Now the pieces that will be the vertical supports need to be dadoed on both sides to accept the square shelves. I go over this in more detail in a previous video. So I have all my pieces cut, um, dadoed, and there's just a few more things I have to do before I can assemble them. Um, the two outside pieces are a quarter inch larger than every other piece, and that's to account for the backing that I'm going to be putting on here. I'm using a quarter inch sheet of plywood that's going to go on the back. So I'm going to cut a groove in the back to accept that piece of plywood. Um, and then I'll begin assembling. Once everything's assembled, I'm also going to be installing a French cleat system to mount this thing. Um, that's one of the strongest ways to mount something that's going to be holding so much weight. So I'll go over that as well when I get there. I'm lightly sanding everything to get rid of any rough edges before assembly. I just used a 220 grit sanding sponge. So I just dry fit everything. Um, my plan is to attach them all one side at a time with nails. So I'll have one, two, three, four, six pieces um, that are all individually attached and then I'll glue and clamp all six of them together. You want to make sure the front edge stays flush when assembling, otherwise the edge banding will be a lot more difficult. My wife even stopped by to give it her disgusted look of approval. Just kidding, she liked it.
I left it all clamped overnight. So, everything is glued and dry and ready to be worked on, uh, but I made a mistake. Um, I needed to cut a groove out of the back of all of these pieces. This is the back side. Um, and I needed to cut a groove in order to fit the French cleat that I'm going to be using. Um, and the reason that I needed that cut was that this sits flat so that when this is hung on the wall, it's flat against the wall. Um, the problem is, once it's all attached together, there's not a lot of clearance to cut it. This would have been easy with a jigsaw, but I have no space to put a jigsaw in now, so I'm going to have to be using this oscillator, which will work, but it's a little less clean and a little harder to control. Since all of the weight would be bearing on the French cleat, I used glue, nails, and went back and added additional screws for support. Here I'm just edge banding the front. It's relatively straightforward. You just iron on and press it into place. For the shelf sections, I had to make sure I was cutting the banding square to fit between the two vertical pieces. This will also end up covering any of the dado joinery if that's the look you're going for. Now I'm just doing the final sanding before stain. I used Minwax oil-based espresso stain. For the top coat, I used Minwax Polycrylic. I knew that trying to hand finish these with a brush would be difficult and create a lot of drips, so I ended up buying a paint sprayer to make it easier. I got the Home Right Finish Max for $100. It took me a little bit to get the settings dialed in, but it worked great and didn't require me to thin the polycrylic at all. It's a nice little self-contained unit that only needs to be plugged in to work. So the first coat of finish is dry, um, so I'm going to lightly sand it with 320 grit sandpaper. Um, you're just doing a really light pass, not really adding very much pressure at all. Um, and then I'll wipe off all the dust and I'll add one more coat, see how it is after that, and decide if I think I need a third coat or not. I ended up doing three coats of the polycrylic. Um, it came out nice and smooth. Um, the last thing for me to do is attach the back. Uh, and I'll be doing that with just one inch brads. I'm not gonna glue it or anything like that. So this is the finished product. The exposed plywood edge at the top will be covered up by the mating French cleat, so it shouldn't be visible once it's hung on the wall. 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments and stay tuned for the next video.